Yo guys, what is up? This is Tom from Unreal Meta and in this quick tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make local hide fog in Unreal Engine 5. So let's start. Okay, so first what's very important is you have an exponential hide fog in your scene and then just activate volumetric fog because we need the properties of this volumetric fog for local fog and then just add a new material. I will call this fog1 and you can go into it. Then at the material domain, set this to volume. Okay, then from blend mode, set it to additive and that's fine. Okay, for the next step, press four on your keyboard and left click at the same time and the output goes into the albedo input and then you can pick a white color or color you like, but I leave it at white for now. Okay, now we wanna do a local fog, so you search for local position, and then also right click, and we need the object local bounce node. Let's drag these two to the side, because we need a little bit of space, and then you need a subtract node. The instance local position goes into the A and the local bounce minimum goes into the B and then you need a divide node and the output from this goes into the A and then the local bounce size goes into the B because now we can add a multiply node from here and the output goes into the A and then we can press one left click and then right click, convert to parameter, and let's call this fog height. So what we've done here is with the local bounce size into the B, we can plug this into the B of the multiply, and then we can change the fog height of our local fog. And for the next step, we need a one minus node. And the output goes into the one minus node, this is like an invert node in Blender and then we need to grab a multiply node again and the output goes into the A and now we can press one again, left click. Let's convert this to a parameter and call this intensity. We also can change this to one for now so we can see the fog actually and then this goes into the extinction. Of course you can add emissive too if you want a fog that glows in the darkness, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna save this material. Okay, now we can add a shape to a scene. Let's add a cube and change the size of it a little bit. Let's make it three by three by three. And from our material, we can create a material instance. Let's call this fog underscore inst for instance, and apply this to our cube. And what you see is we get this local fog. Okay. Now let's go into this and make this window a little bit smaller. And then we have the fog height and the intensity. And you see if I change the fog height, it changes in the cube too. Let's rotate this by 90 degrees. So now you can change the actual height of it. Okay, the intensity is just how strong it is, the opacity of the fog. Let's make it a bit stronger for now. Or you can decrease it and just have a little bit of fog. Let's go into the material again and convert our color to a parameter two, and let's call this color, then save the material. And actually we can press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, press F2 to rename it and rename it to emissive, then plug this into the emissive color and make it black for now, and save your material. If we go to our material instance and go to color, let's enable this, we can change the color of a fog, maybe make it blue, I don't know, just how you like it. And the emissive is at black currently. That means no color is emitted. 
But if we make it another color, you can see there is a mission going on and it covers everything. And if you want only the emissive, what you have to do is go into your fog material and then just delete the color from the albedo. Okay, and that's actually it. I hope I could help you out a little bit. If yes, leave a thumbs up. If no, leave a thumbs down. I'll see you next time and bye.